Fate of a site along the Ashley River now lies in the hands of North Charleston City Council members. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh joining us now on Baker Hospital Boulevard. Caitlin, tell us the next steps for this proposed development there. Well, Ralph, a portion of this property has become a subject of contention for its nearby neighbors and for the company that's suggesting and pushing for it for industrial use. Now, within the next month or so, those community members might get a better idea of an answer for this proposed plan, and that idea is a partnership between Charleston County Parks and Seafox Boat Company to create a waterfront park on this property, funded by a 90-year lease between the two entities. 11 acres of it would become a manufacturing plant for the boating company. That's what portion that's raising eyebrows. And while the companies claim the plant would bring more job opportunities and a, quote, first-class funded green space to the area, a resounding no was heard from both the city's planning commission and the crowd at last night's meeting. The commission voted five to one to deny the recommendation to rezone before passing it on to council, saying it didn't align with the best interest for the city's comp plan, the location to the Ashley River, and the public interest of surrounding neighborhoods. Now, in total, 17 people spoke against the idea last night and pushed instead for the park to be on its own. Those neighbors say they wouldn't benefit for the work or play created in the plant they want to build. We don't need industry in our living rooms. We don't need to breathe the um, affluent of industry in our neighborhood. Um, we don't need to be impacted negatively that way. The is not to want about this, to turn a brown field into a park that provides jobs and an economic engine. With seafood box boats, the city of North Charleston will be able to say we build planes, cars, and, and boats. And I think that's pretty cool. Now, Seek Fox Boats did mention in a statement that they are saying this isn't over yet this afternoon, and they are also saying that they have the support to make it happen. And the next discussion for this will be on April 11th, and the next chance for public comment will be on the 18th. Reporting live in North Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Life 5 News.